Okay, so now that your board is all sanded and really pretty and ready to go, basically all you have to do now is put on a mineral oil. Um, I use this uh, cutting board mineral oil. Um, you want to make sure that it is food safe though because you are going to be using your cutting board to cut food on, hopefully. So you don't want any mineral oil that's not food safe. So basically what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that you get all surfaces of the board covered. So you can just kind of drape it on and then take your fingers, not a paper towel, to spread it around. If you use a paper towel to spread it around, the paper towel is just going to soak up all the mineral oil and we don't want that. After you have it all spread around over the whole board, over all the sides, you can do a little bit more to get the sides. After you have all the sides covered, you're just going to want to let it soak for a while, maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes. Then, once you have it all soaked in, you can flip it around and you can do the bottom. You don't want to do the bottom right now, though, because if you do, then you flip it over on this paper towel that I have the board on, and the paper towel is just going to soak up all the mineral oil that's on the top part right now. Uh, yeah, so let it soak for about half an hour, and then you can flip it over. And then, once um, you have finished letting it soak, then you can take a paper towel and you can wipe off all of the excess oil that didn't soak in. And at the end, you basically just want your board to be nice and shiny. Um, when you touch it, you don't want to feel the oil, but you just want it to um, shine a little bit and be nice and smooth. 